chances are you have read words I've written without knowing it, not just here in Toastmasters, in the world, since I am a Wikipedian. Since 2009, I've had this hobby of writing articles in Wikipedia. I've written hundreds of articles on all kinds of subjects. I've contributed over a thousand images and charts. I can calculate all my contributions in terms of page views, and I can add them up since 2009 to over 200 million page views. So there's, there's a statistical chance you've read my work. You didn't know it was me unless you clicked on the view history, and then you looked under there and you saw my handle, which is user Tom W. Seltzer. If you've read articles on citizenship, on the United States Congress, on uh, many different topics. Some of these pages get thousands of page views a day. You've seen, you've read my work. People say sometimes that since anybody can edit Wikipedia, that therefore you don't need to trust it. When I hear that, I say, show me something in Wikipedia that you think is wrong. Generally, they can't do it. I think it's a fair statement to say that Wikipedia is a highly accurate resource. It compares favorably with Encyclopedia Britannica in terms of it, it's even more comprehensive and it's more current and it is constantly being updated. The, in the English language Wikipedia alone, there are five and a half million articles. If you do uh, any kind of Google search on any subject, you'll find Wikipedia comes up in the first or second pages. It is the most popular internet resource for information, and it's the fifth most pop popular website overall. What makes Wikipedia so great? Founder Jimmy Wales happened upon a perfect formula. He learned how to channel the wisdom of the crowd. Each of us here has specific knowledge. Um, you have knowledge about commercial real estate. Uh, you have knowledge about business. You have knowledge about the law. Each of our knowledges, our pools of knowledge is small, but when we collectively put them together, it becomes quite impressive. What Wikipedia does is it takes all the knowledge of the world and puts it together in a form that is very powerful. And as of 2014, there were 18 billion page views per month. All those eyeballs looking over all those articles, if there's any incorrect fact in there, somebody will see it and fix it. The eyeballs are what helps keep the encyclopedia honest. There are other factors. I, one of the most I call constructive battling. If you look at a Wikipedia page, it looks peaceful. It's information. It's just there. But if you look at the history page, have, have any of you done that, looked at the history page? You see this version, and then that version, and that version. These are all editors behind the scenes jockeying, saying, I think this is important, that's important, fighting over what details go in it, how it's said. It happens all the time, especially on heavily trafficked articles or articles that are controversial, such as politics, religion, philosophy, sometimes sports. To solve these battles, Wikipedia has rules that the community has developed, and they are neutral, neutral point of view. You shouldn't give too much weight to one side. You should have no original research. Reliable sources, the New York Times, respected journals. Uh, verifiability. So if you add something to the encyclopedia, you want others to be able to check it, click on the reference, and see, yeah, that's what the reference says. There's also another standard is notability. Wikipedia wants subjects that are in public discourse. Not, we couldn't do an article on Tom's handyman service. Nobody's talking about it. Wikipedia prefers secondary resources over primary sources. This might sound kind of odd, but let's say I ask, what is the best Toastmasters club in New Jersey? Which is Summit. Toastmasters is the best club in New Jersey. Now, that's a primary source. 
but what Wikipedia would prefer would be a district or state level operator who's been to many clubs and who's had some objective way of looking at them and hopefully not connected to any of those clubs. That, so the secondary, res secondary source is the one that's preferred over the primary. Now the battling happens when myself and maybe another contributor start fussing over what should go in it, what's right and wrong. And to win our battles, we are forced to go to the rules. So what happens in the process is the more we battle, the more we have to run to the rule books, we become like little lawyers fussing over this rule or that, this source or that. And the process of doing that, we, we tend to internalize these rules. We start to think impartially like we're lawyers. We come to look at information in an impartial way. The process makes us better contributors. So it can take somebody who's not an expert, me, I'm just a handyman, and turn me into a quality contributor over time. The more I contribute, the better I get. There's an article in Wikipedia called Pseudo-Exfoliation Syndrome. It's an eye disease. Protein clumps get in the eye and they block the drainage networks and it can lead to blindness. That article is read by eye doctors, by researchers, and it's trusted. You know who, who wrote it? I wrote 90% of it. And I'm not any of those things. I'm just an ordinary guy. How did I write it? I learned how to reference and, and research. I, I found what the experts did say, and I cited them, and I put it in the article. That, I think, is the genius of Wikipedia. They can take an ordinary person like me and channel us into becoming a better and better contributor. Why do I write? I love two things. I love readers and I love learning. When I want to learn something, I'll write an article in Wikipedia about it. For example, I had to give a speech on self-publishing at the <coughs> Summit Library, 45 minutes. First thing I did was I wrote a Wikipedia article on self-publishing. I revamped it. I turned it from 20,000 bytes into 117,000 bytes. So how did I do it? I had a split screen. I had the references here on one side I would find and each sentence I would add would have a reference. When they were good, I would stick them on the left side on the screen, add them to the article, rework them, and then publish it. I've done hundreds of biography articles. I can write a biography article in under an hour. Okay. I prefer to do bi biography articles on women since they tend to be underrepresented. Have you heard of YouTuber uh, April Wilkerson? I put her in Wikipedia. Sometimes articles on women are about to be deleted and I'll, because they're badly done, and I'll look at them and if I can rescue them, I'll rescue them. I've rescued dozens of articles. Wikipedia is not perfect. It's a mishmash of so many different styles. So sometimes the prose and editing is clunky. This fact, that fact, it, 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 it's sometimes hard to read. There's a certain insularity that happens because contributors is the more they contribute, they get more editing powers, and sometimes they can be rather smug and disregard newcomers. There's only 15% of Wikipedians are women, which I think is a problem. And there's also, uh, there are sometimes mistakes in Wikipedia. You know how to find the mistakes? Find an article that's very, not read much. You go to the view history, page views, and if it's read by, say, three to five, you know, page views a day, chances are it's probably not wrong, but it's probably puffed up and unimportant. So if any of you are interested in Wikipedia, come see me. I'll help get you up to speed. There's a learning curve. I might give a future talk on how to do Wikipedia, but I do urge you all to consider becoming Wikipedians. It's a power. It's a way that you get to define reality. And it's also vulnerable. It's kind of like democracy in the sense that if, if all of us just enjoy Wikipedia and nobody adds to it, the ones who do add to it get more and more power, and sooner or later they might not have the same financial interests that you have. There are some people out there with a financial interest opposed to you getting good information. So I urge you all to become Wikipedians. Thank you so much.